Oh guys, good day everyone, welcome back to World of Warships. This is Captain Krautzer, and today we are looking at the Kremlin. It is a, it's the map shards with 5 DDs per side. The first thing that comes to my mind like what can i do in this map like we have a 5 dds per side and like we have a plymouth go secure first and two hollands going into a so there is really not not much of a support needed there but or do it she's currently moving towards a but she starts turning towards b I'm checking out the minimap up, so if you're wondering what I'm talking I'm looking at the minimap most of the time, especially in the early matches or even the mid match and even an end game as well. Um, so most of the time, my eyes is on the minimap. So I decided I'm going. I'm going with the Duid. I'm going with the Duid. I'm gonna support. Him. There's enemy curve first. Uh, let's take a pot shot at him. We don't lose anything. We aim a bit higher so we can um, get his upper hole or even a upper deck, but he was very slow. He actually stopped. Um. I hope you liked the intro. That was a really um, small trying. Like, small test. Now, the Druid is already spotted the torpedoes. That's a 5 torpedoes, but it doesn't say anything. Um, the ho It can be Holland, but it doesn't actually look like Holland torpedoes. It can be Gearing or even the Alving. Enemy Holland spotted. As the Druid is also spotted. Now we are going in. Um, we have to go in because our Druid is stuck between two days. If we don't do anything, that Druid is gonna die. I have HE ready for the enemy Holland. And she's spotted again. We kinda miss aim, but I think the desync saves us. And we are in. That Holland has no chance of surviving. Yoshino probably fight those torpedoes. They are slow, uh, but it's gonna hit on hit hit us on the belt, so it's gonna do not a lot of damage. And now you're gonna let it flood. Um, the flooding is not really the previous flood that we had like last year or even like two years ago. Um, it's we can I can just let it stay. Because I might actually get HD spam, so I need those DCPs. I'm gonna. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm just gonna wait for the shots. There's Shimakaza and Holland in front of the grid. The 
I'm not supported. I'm looking at the minimap again. I'm gonna sail. Start sailing, but sailing um back into the cover of the island. The Holland is spamming me, but he's going behind island. But Shimakaze not. Um, and so we take a fire. Though. She dies, and now we um, switch our attention to this Yoshino, because that Holland is now the only ship that that's against Lord Duid, and Duid has stupid firepower. But he can easily handle her, handle the Holland. Meanwhile, it's Yoshino. Uh, she tried her luck many times. Now we are also going behind island. Torpedoes are coming. I made a dumb mistake. I couldn't actually see the island icon, so I thought I might actually, uh, you know, get some shots over that island, even if it hits the super structure. But still, it was a dumb decision. At least we are unspotted. Now, um, I should move forward. I don't want to have Slava just um, on the on the gap on the left. Um, it will make it. Bit of, bit of a pain to get him killed in a short time. Um, he cannot do much damage even if I'm on both sides, but it will just take so much time that it is unnecessary time. So we move forward and start battling the Yoshino. That Yoshino has no chance. And we actually turn towards the right. Um, because that Yoshino is probably fire torpedoes and will probably come towards where we are. So, we're gonna need Holland torpedoes, but it doesn't do much. Let's just hope. Uh, never mind. We gotta hit. We gotta loading. The Yoshino torpedoes, just like I predicted, goes towards where we are previously. And this is the last shot. That's, that was a perfect um, accuracy. There's no one on our sides, um, the grid is free. We basically actually scored the grid from the beginning of the match, and now we are just dominating this recap. The Puerto Rico just came out of nowhere though, I wasn't expecting him. But I was expecting the Slava. I hold my fire, I wanna keep turning, but uh, Puerto Rico is still on my right side, so uh, I don't wanna give give him both sides, but he started turning, he started turning away, so I decided, okay, we're going full in. Um, because of the Slava's angle currently, and my turning circle, I'm gonna have his both side while, while being relatively angled um, towards his gun. And yeah, that actually works. And, voila, the Slava is dead. Now we have no HP, um, and I think the carrier wants us. We still didn't see him, but the carrier is probably coming in. Yeah, the carrier is coming in. I need, I need a fighter sport. We are on all the last um, lives. We have no. Um, if we don't get any sport, we're gonna die. Or if the, if the game doesn't end in a short time. Yeah, okay. The, the carrier missed it, so we, st we didn't get burned. And the Portuk is getting us. Okay, I'm gonna reverse back into the cover. That's the cover first. This didn't do much, and. Okay, we're still alive. Um, we're gonna go first back to cover. We have we don't have much of an HP. We need all heal back. Enemy audacious is currently spotted. Um, I think they can maybe handle him. Please. And meanwhile, I I gonna reverse reverse out. That Yamato doesn't even looking at us. Let's just check out. It does the moving his gun. 
Okay, the Alving is dead. Wait, that wasn't Alving. Okay, never mind. He is looking at us now. We have to go forward. Thankfully that he's still moving forward and all the forward part of the space structure is behind the island, so we're not splitted. But we have to move forward. Actually, we can just stay, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna move forward. That portal we keep giving perfect board side. If the... If and the game doesn't end now, <laughs> um, uh, yeah. the game is over. It isn't really a huge damage game, but we spotted all this soil and we actually achieved a victory. I hope you liked it. Um, if you like it, please subscribe, and um, I will see you all next time. Peace.